The Witch's Cauldron, The Craft, Lore, and Magic of Ritual Vessels by Laura Tempest, Tempest Zakroff. And I kind of do like that cover image. So I got a, that off of Kobo. And for me, like, the broom has a little more... Out of the series that they've made for, like, ritual, like, not ritual, but, like, tool items, I kind of like the broom more. But I got the cauldron, too. So, nine different chapters. It is informative, so there's, you got that. So, things like defining the cauldron, basic symbolism, uses of the cauldron, like the container, maker, a few other items. So it's just not a few lines of information and then personal stuff. It's, to me, it's jam-packed with information. So it's taught, and there is, she does go into history and literature uh, examples as well. So and she talks about like different places like in Europe where you can go and see different like cauldrons like go to this place and not go to but in this place in Greece or this museum here or whatever. So and she talks about like different cauldrons as well like Keratin Cauldron. She'll talk about it, the story and some similar story consideration, symbolism of it. So Keratin, Baba Yaga, a few other ones, both male and female. So different styles and materials of cauldrons. So for all the way from you making your own like paper mache ones to ones that you could buy in store, like as simple as a bowl to a cauldron itself. So, so like this is mine, found at like either antique market or thrift store. I think it was Value Village, but small little thing. And it works, so it's good. <laughs> so, and she has a section of like if you're choosing your own, like make make if you choose to make your own, she brings in like the lunar cycles on. In this lunar cycle, this is how like the mindset, not mindset, but like focus of that cauldron. So, like the energy, and she talks about like decorating the cauldron for like sabbats, like reusing items like I said, like plates for candles and offerings, boilers, saucepans, and mixing bowls for cauldron. So it could be as simple as that. So taking care of the cauldron and safety, which is a good thing to have. Just like any other altar tool, you know, you kind of have to know how to take care and be safe with that tool. So from time to time she has people tell a story slash event and it she'll have like a divider. The, the story and then like the person's name and like a website or whatever or a page that you can get to them or find information so and it's a lot of the times it's more at the end of the chapter or at the end of the section so that's so you get kind of get a different perspective as well and of course, you got cauldron and magic. So there is a section on that. So, and I like 
she puts in what her husband said, the three rules of living. One, take care of yourself, take care of others, because to take care of others you have to take care of yourself first. And three, I kind of like this one, don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> so, your intentions with not just with the magic but with everybody else, don't be a complete jerk about it. Yeah, you can protect yourself and defend yourself, but don't be a complete jerk. <laughs> That's what I'm taking out of it. Uh, there's like divination being brought in as well. Talks of uses of like kettles, bathtubs, and crocks par crock pots as cauldrons because you can use those as because they do hold in the kettle and like bathtub perspective water and can be. And all three can be seen as like cauldrons because they hold stuff, they make stuff, and so <laughs> it's that. So it isn't just a regular old cauldron that she talks about. She's like, you can find other things to be used as quote unquote a cauldron. And at the end, there's like recommended reading and resources, which is good. It's not huge, but. Like, again, it's a start. So, The Witch's Cauldron, I do like. So, Llewellyn has, like, a complete series, like, a series of, like, altered tools. Like, I have the broom, the broom one, and the cauldron one. I, they have one about the athame, and I think one or two other ones. So... It is a small series, so, and you don't have to get every single one, they are standalone books, so if you aren't big on using athames, you don't have to get the athame one. If you're not big on using brooms, you don't have to get the broom one to um, understand the other books. So they are standalone pieces, just like the Llewellyn Sabbat Essential series. You don't have to get every single Sabbat in that series if you don't celebrate or incorporate all eight Sabbats into your practice. So, The Witch's Cauldron by Laura Tempest Sakroff. Happy readings.